And all of this comes just a few days after Bowers had claimed that comprehensive sex ed was part of Planned Parenthood's, quote, business plan of hell that he believes the organization stands to profit off a of scientifically comprehensive sex education because it will lead to more sexually transmitted diseases and abortions that will boost Planned Parenthood's bottom line. Now, Bowers had made those comments last weekend at an event sponsored by Family Watch International, a group that has been called extremist. Now, the group opposes comprehensive sex education, which teaches students about contraception, STDs, gender identity, and consent. When Bowers was asked today to explain those comments, why he opposes the program, he referred to a book called It's Only Normal, a fully illustrated guide to sexual health for girls and boys. You look at the picture. You take it. I dare you. I, I challenge you on your show. Hold up the textbook in front of the camera. Show them the picture of what 10-year-olds are going to be asked to see. And you just wait what happens on the other end of your show. That's, that's not what I want. I want medically accurate, I want anatomically accurate, but I don't need to sexualize children and tell them how to masturbate. And Bowers could not provide any evidence that that book is actually being taught in any schools right now in Arizona, although he did say that it was available in some libraries. We found the 20-year-old book today on Amazon. Now, in response to Bowers' comments, Kathy Hoffman issued a statement of her own that reads in part, Speaker Bowers' comments today are just as abhorrent and reprehensible as his comments made over the weekend, and they have no basis in reality. I urge the Speaker Bowers to join me in working to find solutions to these critical challenges instead of spreading and uh, spending his time amplifying conspiracy theories being pushed by known hate groups. In the newsroom, Dennis Wells for Arizona's family.